Kara, and you're watching my iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat. Thanks to Romeo and Most Requested Live for having me on tonight to talk about my song, Boulevard. Okay guys, let's get to the questions. Bailey from Cincinnati, Ohio. If you were in a taxi with my grandma and she asked you to tell her what you did for a living, how would you explain? Bailey, I would tell her that I play music through my flute and that I express my emotions with my vocal cords as a singer-songwriter. Lauren from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. How many chicken nuggets do you think you could eat in one sitting? Um, unfortunately, only about six, maybe seven. <laughs> it depends on how good the sauce is, you know? Then you never know. Then we make it, you know, to that seventh. Um, Haley from Greenville, North Carolina says, how did that name Kara, how'd you get the name Kara? Is it from a family member? Uh, no, my parents named me Kara because it's Italian and my last name is Italian and it's Kara with a C, which is the Italian way. Kelly from Chicago, Illinois, how did Boulevard come together? Well, um, I basically wrote a song about Los Angeles, which you see here behind me. Um, the Hollywood sign is actually right over there somewhere. But um, I love this town. I came here over a decade ago and you can truly be anything you want anywhere, but Los Angeles is really great at helping you explore that and then you can take that with you through life. So. That's how Boulevard came together, and it's a great opener to the album because it's not too serious, you know. Tara so. from Huntington says, if you were on a dating site, what quality do you have that you would lead with? Hmm. Well, I'll, I may not be being funny right now, but I will say a lot of people tell me that I'm funny. But you gotta catch me in the moment for those moments. You know, I'm, I'm only funny when I feel like it. And it comes out naturally when I feel like it. So maybe that's a good quality. Stephanie from Savannah, Georgia. If you had to have a theme song play whenever you entered a room, what would it be? <laughs> huh, well, I'm just gonna say the first thing that came to mind. Cindy Lauper, girls just wanna have fun. Right? That's the one. Uh, that song always comes to mind. I have to cover it. Um, Peg from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. How did you get into the music business? Well, I don't really think I like got into it. I've just always played music, sang, written music. It's just a part of my being. And every single time that I tried to do something else. Uh, somehow I end up back in music because I just cannot help myself. <laughs> it's like what I do, that's all I do. And there's something really magical about creating a song from scratch. Um, just that is so special to me that you can take um, an abstract art and emotion and actually make a structure for it. It's pretty cool. So that other people can, you know, listen to it. I think that's amazing. Um, so for me, I don't think I like got into it. I've just always been doing music. So naturally, um, opportunities came my way because I was in the right cities. And I think that's how it happened. I just always was working hard. And because of that, it leads you in the right direction. Uh, Roberta from Detroit, Michigan. If you met a genie and he gave you three wishes, only three, what would you choose? That's easy. A happy family, health and, and health for your family members and for your pets. And uh, so that we have happy, health, and the third, <laughs> wealth. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. Well, I'm not. Happiness, health, and wealth. 
if a genie because with the wealth you can do a lot of things for others to be honest and you can start foundations and get other people to donate and you know it's not bad to to need money or to want money it's not a bad thing um okay violetta from queens new york favorite boulevard to drive on well duh hollywood sunset hollywood boulevard sunset boulevard that's it that's what it's about and that's it that's all it's about <laughs> there's not those streets we don't want to sing about it um cassie from indianapolis indiana what was your first job oh that's easy i remember that like the back of my hand taco cabana in corpus christi texas we no longer have it um but that was my job i was in the drive through and uh, if anyone knows taco cabana they know how delicious it is when you're hungry and on the run and running errands and stuff so yeah love my taco cabana and i ate a lot of it i ate a lot of it while i was working there you just didn't see me but i i was eating it while i was at the drive through giving you your food i was eating um andrea from cherry hill new jersey who do you text the most with <laughs> i honestly don't text a lot with any with anyone i'm not like a big texter i'll, I'll say that it overstimulates my brain and it hurts it hurts <laughs> Jojo from Jacksonville, Florida. What can you cook? Well, um, I'm always trying to learn how to cook because I, I didn't really get to learn how to cook. And so I'm always trying to learn how to cook something. So that's good. Um, Lisa from Raleigh, North Carolina. What was your first cell phone? Uh, probably one of those ones where you open like this like an old school little then you open it and then after that it was a blackberry that's right jennifer from dallas texas what was the first song that you knew all the words to that's easy eagle eye cherry save tonight and kiss by a rose wait is it kiss yes kiss <laughs> Kiss from a Rose by Seal. Yes, I love those two songs as a child and I can't really get them out of my head. But apparently I need to work on the title a little bit better. But yes, Kiss from a Rose by Seal and Eagle Eye Cherry Save tonight. Thanks again for watching my Ask Anything chat. My new song is called Boulevard. Thanks to Romeo and Most Requested Life for having me on tonight to answer your questions.